Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Questions that I get asked almost every day, both online and in person. But there's one question that I always get asked over and over again. What is that question? Well, I'm going to tell you. All right, guys, before I get into uh, the question, I want to thank our sponsor for this particular episode, Racket Aid. Now, if you guys live in a racket stringing desert or just don't have time to get your racket strung because, you know, you're working at home and you're on the computer 20 hours a day, uh, but you need those four hours to play tennis, uh, why don't you send your, why don't you go to racketaid.com, like fill out the form. They'll send you a box to your doorstep, right? All you have to do is put your rackets in there, tell them what you want, send it off. The rackets come back strung, all right? Check out that three racket deal. It's probably the best deal out there because you guys were breaking strings one after another like potato chips, right? Might as well send all three out and get them fresh and get them done. It's the best deal out there going. Check it out. Uh, so go to Racket Aid, fill out the form, you get the cool box, empty box, you fill the box with your racket, send it back, they come back strong. Okay? RacketAid.com. I've gone through the service myself. Best service going today. All right? Now, the number one question everybody asks me, how do I make my racket heavier? Where should I put weight? Great question. Um, I feel like everybody is a tinkerer in tennis, or at least most of you, um, and you're always searching for the perfect weight, the perfect balance, trying to figure out your swing that matches your racket. And I get it. I get it. I totally get it. I've seen so many people take an arrow, banana or not, Brazilian or not, carnival racket here or not, um, because it's so head light and it cuts through the air so fast that it wants to kind of go north all the time. Uh, it's pretty difficult if you've ever tried one of these to flatten this, this racket out. So this is one of the more common rackets that um, I hear people wanting to modify to their liking. And most of the time, they're, people are saying, hey, I can't flatten my shot out. I can't hit through the ball with an arrow. So most common thing is I tell them, get some lead, get some lead and put like six holes, like six, four to six. If you want to start slow, go four holes, four grommet holes worth at the three and nine o'clock areas and get started there and see how you like it, if that's enough. Most of the time, um, it's not. So I usually say go six to start. And if that's not enough, go for four more holes up top. Okay, and that should remedy the situation. Now, um, I've, I've actually seen some people um, pretty much can't hit through the ball and can never hit through the ball. And they've leaded, it, leaded this racket up pretty much all over. 10 and 2, 3 and 9, 12 o'clock, even some here at the shoulders. And they still really can't get what they want out of the racket. At that point, you're probably going to have to switch rackets uh, because this is probably not the racket for you. In order to make a racket suit your natural swing, uh, you're going to have to find the racket that suits your swing, right? Now, I know everybody wants top spin. It's, you know, that's why the channel is called Tennis Spin, right? Because it's all about spin. And now we're going to spin 
the racket, right, into a different racket now. Because obviously, this racket isn't working for you. Now, when people switch to a different racket, they go to something a little more head heavier, like a pure drive. So we go to something naturally head heavier to basically remedy what is missing from your swing, right? So question is, how do I make this heavier? How do I make my racket heavier, right? Sometimes lead will work. Sometimes you have to switch rackets. Now, I feel that, you know, people like to tinker and tinkering with lead and tinkering with leather is another common thing that I get asked is like, I've added leather to my thing. You don't really add swing weight, as you saw in one of my videos. Um, you kind of add more, just a little more weight in the handle but the swing weight doesn't change. So, but it does, you do feel a little heft in that handle, just a little more, and you feel the bevels a little more, and you feel feel a little more with leather. So, a lot of people do the combination of these two, and I think we can almost call it a day sometimes, sometimes. Now, after you put the leather on, right, you gotta choose the overgrip. Now, do you go like thin, like a super grap, or do you go thick, like a supreme? That's up to you. I don't use overgrip, so, and I usually don't use leather because I don't use an overgrip. Because if I use leather, I would have to use an overgrip. Um, so that's, you know, so these are the ways most people modify their rackets that are simple that you can do sometimes you have to change your racket um unfortunately but hey lead usually does the trick but when it doesn't um racket change is in order um, if you never tried leather give it a shot it alters things a little bit uh gives you a better feel and a, and a sense of kind of where you hit um, on the racket face. Okay. And then super grap or supreme thinner, thicker. Okay. So what did we learn today? We have to add lead to this for most people, unless you like spin, 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 right? If you don't go with a pure drive. Okay. Uh, and lead is your best friend. Leather grip can add weight to the handle. Don't forget that overgrip and thick or thin. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.